Hey Zoo family, welcome to today's video. It is Veterans Day here in America and uh, the kids get off for Veterans Day. They don't have to go to school on Monday. Veterans Day. What yeah, but Veterans it's Veterans Day. Day. We, I'm glad you asked, <laughs> Logan. That's exactly what I was gonna do is tell you because we talked about it yesterday. I prayed about it in church uh, when I led the congregation in prayer, but on Veterans Day, remember, we always uh, remember those military uh, service men and women who have sacrificed our veterans who have mm -hmm. fought in the wars oh, that have yeah, kept yeah, us yeah, a free that's, country. That's why we're off on Monday? That's why we're off today. Yes, we talked about it yesterday. You don't remember? No. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm getting a chance to tell you again. On Veterans Day, we honor the uh, people who have served in the United States military. The kids do not have to go to school today, but I had to work, and that's all right, but they were home. Mommy is with Daisy, as you are well aware, but we're gonna go get Mommy! Yeah! Yeah, we're gonna go pick her up. She's not gonna do two nights in a row with Daisy. We're gonna actually stagger it. She did pretty good with Daisy. Are you all right down there? What's wrong? I don't see Daisy. I know, everyone, Everybody's I know, awful. we all want to see Daisy so bad, we're dying to see Daisy, they're dying to see Daisy. Wait, 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 uh, wait. I don't know, baby, I wish I could tell you, but the, do, the, op, the office, the hospital won't tell us, so we can't tell you, we can't tell you until the hospital tells us. So we're going to go pick up Mommy now, and I know they're excited to see her, we're going to spend some time and go to dinner, yeah, we're going to get food, we're starving. Together? Sparky! Sparky! Hi, Sparky. We're going, yeah, we're going to all go to dinner together. We're going to get mommy and then spend time going I'm to dinner. I'm so hungry. I am starving too. I gave the kids some crackers to hold them over. Like, that did absolutely nothing. That did absolutely nothing. So let's get some. Yeah, look at this. I, I forgot to mention this. I gave, uh, I grabbed these from the Indian market uh, <laughs> as a gift for Diwali. I was just grabbing her some sweets because I had an Indian person in our comment section actually like, 30 of you say every Indian holiday is not an Indian holiday unless there are sweets, unless there are treats to eat. So this is one of her favorites because, well not, I don't even know if it's just because of this, but one of the reasons she has fond memories attached to these cookies is because um, Rajiv gave them to her when we were in India. The taxi Mr. driver. Wants to, wants, it, wants it so bad. Yeah. I have Everyone right. wants your cookies. Everyone's trying. And we had the bourbon cookies and all that. Okay, let's go get mommy. Here we go. Go. Okay, so we're here in the third floor waiting room again, waiting for mommy. And I have something to show you. It's a mystery, and I want to know what you think. Way over there is where we came into the hospital. And over here is like this cafeteria area, like this common, huge common room. And then over here on this ledge, Caleb's going to show you. It's the strangest thing. This is a huge ledge. Look at this. A pile of crayons. Yes, a pile of crayons outside the window. Can't even focus on it. Outside the window, a pile of crayons. What in the world? How did they get there? It's so weird. There's no way of getting out there. It's completely glass, solid glass all the way across. And there's crayons out here on this ledge. We were wondering if a bird somehow like flew each one of them up there and was like making a nest of crayons. Do you, what do you think about the bird theory? Do you think it's a bird maybe? you think a bird could have done that? No. What do you think did it? How do you think it happened? I think they, uh, they I think there are some people who was cracking it so they could see. And someone pushed, but how did all the crayons fall right there? I don't think so, man. I don't like that theory. It's also sealed completely, completely sealed up top. Like I am flabbergasted. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't get it. It's it's the third floor up from down there. The third floor up. How did this happen? This will keep you busy for hours trying to figure out just what in the world you're supposed to do. Logan's passing the time waiting for mom, trying to avoid thinking about the fact that we're starving. It's yeah. like 8 o'clock at night almost. The time has changed. What? <laughs> yeah, the time has changed. Oh man, I don't know what to do, Katie. What? Your guess is as good as mine. I don't know what's going on in this thing. It's like an abstract painting. Okay guys, we're riding this elevator to the top floor. I hate, listen, Daisy got moved all the way up to the top floor. She got a penthouse. And no, she got a penthouse and, and Winnie Palmer. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 o
dropping it to 11. There we go. Okay, be respectful. Here we go. Quiet, quiet, quiet. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Good. The ladies. There's two beds. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a it's crazy like a room. <laughs> this is the Ritz. Look at this. Yeah, you got a TV. Dang, two beds. You have two TVs. They gave you a penthouse, baby girl. I told the kids she got a penthouse. I want to see the kids' reactions when they see you. Hopefully, they don't scream. Wait, 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 wait. Don't scream. <laughs> don't scream. Don't scream. Don't scream. Oh, apparently you're not going to scream, you're just going to chill. <laughs> I've seen her before. Your family has missed you so much today. Oh my gosh, Katie, are you getting taller? You're past mom's chin. Do you see this? She's just at my chin, yeah. Oh my gosh, what are you doing, girl? I do. can't control that. And then it's shorty. It feels like you're getting like, thinner smaller. or bigger. Yeah. <laughs> smaller, smaller. It feels like Caleb's bigger. almost to your eyes. It's the same size. It feels like they've grown since you've been mm. <laughs> gone one day. I know, I'm, just right? no, I'm just now noticing it. So the 11th floor is like a hotel, <laughs> not just a NICU. <laughs> it's really nice up here, I'm not gonna lie. The, just the whole entryway, it's like gold elevators. You definitely feel like you're on the top floor. Did you get some shots out the window? I did. I can't wait to see that view in the daytime. Dad? Yeah, bud. What does NICU stand for? Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. It's where a patient needs very intense care. And neonatal just means baby. Yeah, like the like baby surgery? intensive care unit. Uh, no, they don't do surgeries on this level. Uh, but they do take care of babies in a very intense, close up way. I feel like she shrunk. Mom shrank? Mom, you do seem shorter. I think it's because you're on flats. Probably. It's like that extra inch is like making us like, whoa, what happened to you? <laughs> you're so you need to get your jacket on, bud. Get your jacket on. It's chilly feel, outside. I feel like you're higher than mom. I've always been higher than mom. Always. Mommy's got to put platform shoes and then I got to wear nothing on my feet. <laughs> For her to be taller than me. Okay, who wants some barbecue? I'm feeling like barbecue. So we're going to Bubaloo's Bodacious Barbecue. We haven't been here in so long, but since we're up in Orlando, like every day, we're trying to eat places that we don't get typically. This is my second time. You've been here before? Yeah. We brought you here? I don't remember. I don't remember where you've been at this point. It's been two years, baby girl. I don't know what we've introduced you to and what we haven't. Still gotta take you to Universal. How's the hospital food been without me? Food? The hospital food. Has it been good? It, it, oh, I had to eat at the cafeteria. It's not like I had. Oh, you didn't get room service. I didn't get room service. Oh. See, we like the room service better than the cafeteria. Yeah. Cafeteria. Oh, the cafeteria does also a much job. cheaper. Is room it? service. Is oh yeah, room service is five dollars even, no matter what. Melanie and I are thinking about spending a night there, maybe both of us going up there, seeing if we can get childcare for a night, so she and I can both stay. Uh, she said so great. She said the bonding was great. With Daisy. You just, like, you get to know her, know her. You know what I mean? Sort of like, Why'd you like, have to say that? <laughs> you do. You, you got me You get to know there. her. Oh. And she's so easy. Is she? She's so easy. <laughs> it's ridiculous how easy she is. She just doesn't like food on her. She doesn't? She, oh, poor baby. So she cries the moment there's a, a dirty diaper, right? Um, not the moment, but she won't put up with it much for long. That's a pretty good temperament. You want that. You don't want a baby that Doesn't that care. will hide it, or that means she'll be easy to potty train. I've always heard yeah. that means the baby will be easier to potty train. So, what are you doing, Timbo with the elephant? Isn't it a nice elephant? That's the biggest mahogany elephant ever. Oh, and it's a, a pig mama with her pig babies. Don't step on the pig mom. Hey, that. Oh, let, let's not hang on it. I don't know why they have. A gigantic elephant in here, come to think of it. This is a barbecue they restaurant. Fish. Huh? They, have fish up here they do have a fish on the wall. Oh, oh, big old fish actually. everywhere. Oh, Katie, check this out. When we eat at Mexican restaurants, you do the tomatillo hot sauce. Look at this one, Zoo family. Wait, after I say look at this, say that again. Look at this, Zoo family. I've always heard that, that one's just kind of like hot. 
I have heard the same thing that this one's up like pure heat, not a lot of taste. We're gonna taste test it tonight. We're still gonna do your hot sauce challenge, Timmy. I see you. But uh, tonight we're gonna taste some Louisiana hot sauce on our barbecue. Does that sound good? Uh, okay. Put a little bit on my finger and put a little bit on your finger. You ready? Put your finger out. Just a little bit. <laughs> Rock, don't move, don't move. I'm, I'm not steady. Oh, I oh, put too much, sorry. Okay, it's all right. Ready, go. One, two, three. It does have a taste. It's pretty good. It tastes hot? It's not, it's not that hot. It's good. It's good. Do you think Tomatillo is hotter? The other one from, um, Mexican restaurant. Rancho Chico. Rancho Chico. Rancho Chico. I always forget the name of that place. Rancho Chero. Do you like that one? Rancho Chero? I don't know. I don't know. Rancho. We call it Rancho. Hello. Hello. Got four nuggets and powdered sugar. Thank you. I can easily be one of those people who thinks hot sauce makes everything better. I put hot sauce on a burger for the first time two weeks ago. That's the night in a video that I grilled peppers and onions and mushrooms and all sorts of stuff like in a veggie medley. So I eat a veggies basically on a burger with hot sauce and some mustard and ketchup. I've never made a burger that good at home before. I mean, I've been grilling burgers our whole marriage. I've never had a burger at home that delicious. You gonna put some on? Want me to do it? <laughs> I put too much on. Just eat the whole thing, it's good. It's really good, I think. Isn't it good? It's so good. You gotta try this summer. You wanna try it, Logan? Hot sauce, Mr. Logan. You wanna try it? It's good. Here you go. One, two, three, go! Do you like it? Can't say. You don't like you don't, it? You don't know? Or you don't like it? I don't know. I don't know? Well, that's better than I don't like it. When you do not try that with this. This is so cute. It is huge. Those ribs are the size of your forearm. Quick. Put, hey, put your hand on it. Not on it. Don't touch it. But put your hand next to it. Look at the size of those ribs, Zufi. Like, oh my goodness. Those are some big old ribs. Oh, you wanted mac and cheese? Oh, that's right, you did ask for mac and cheese. Oh, did you ask for fries? So they gave you, can you switch? Let's switch and then we'll give you those fries. Yeah, turkey sandwich. Just turkey sandwich. Side, Ooh, pickle. Here, put it in here if you don't want it. Some of our oh. kids don't like pickles. Some of them love pickles. If you have kids, are your kids that way? Like if they get a grilled cheese sandwich and there's pickles on it, it ruins the whole sandwich. Some of our kids are that way. Don't let a pickle anywhere near their food or else it spoils the whole thing. So we're home now, we are ready to go to bed. It's been an exhausting day. It really has, but we're really happy to have mommy home tonight. She may be going back to the hospital tomorrow. Right now, it's really day by day, seeing what the needs of Daisy and the family are. Daisy's progressing. She could have the feeding tube out very soon, so that would be a great thing for her. Uh, just one more step closer to coming home. Thanks for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time, Zoo Family.